The Toy Poodle is a well-known breed of dog. They are classified as a small breed, but they are very intelligent. They are known for being good at games and tricks, which makes them popular pets for people who want an animal that can do something more than just sleep or eat. Toy Poodles are best known for their intelligence, liveliness, and affection. In addition to being a notoriously intelligent breed of dog, Toy Poodles are also often considered as one of the most good-natured breeds because they are generally very affectionate. The Toy Poodle is a great family companion that can be trained to perform a wide array of tricks and tasks. They have been popular breeds since the 1800s and continue to be popular in modern times because they can easily adapt to life in an apartment or a small home alongside other pets because they do not need a yard or a large space to run around in. Toy Poodles are intelligent, lively little dogs that prefer to be with their families most of the time. They are friendly, sweet-natured, and they love to be around people. If they're not getting enough attention from their owners, they'll often come up looking for you until you give them some affection. If you are interested in this dog breed and you are searching for info about them, in this video, we cover everything you need to know. But first, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. Toy Poodles are the world's smallest breed of dog and they are recognized by the American Kennel Club. They come in a variety of colors, patterns, and textures. Toy Poodles typically weigh between 3 to 7 pounds and stand about 10 inches at the shoulder. Poodles were originally bred in Germany, where they were often called Pudelchen or Little Splash, due to their curly coat, which resemble a wet poodle. The word poodle comes from the German word pudel, which means to splash about. The standard poodle is the original, traditional size. The miniature and toy poodles were created by breeding smaller sizes over time. The origin of the poodle is not certain, but it is believed to have come from China or Tibet. It is also possible that it came from some Asian type of water spaniel or poodle type dog with a small head and long silky hair coat. The curly coated dogs gained popularity in England and Spain. However, in France, they were adored. King Louis XVI was besotted with toy poodles and the breed became thought of as Francie's national dog. The Kennel Club in England registered their first poodle back in 1874. Two years later, a Poodle Fanciers Club was established. No one is sure exactly when they arrived in the U.S., but according to the American Kennel Club, they were being registered as early as 1878. In 1896, the Poodle Club of America was founded. However, it disbanded and became inactive until Poodle Enthusiasts re-established it in 1931. It is speculated that the club was entwined with a nationwide obsession with poodles because they didn't start gaining a following in America until after World War II ended. By the mid-1950s, however, the poodle had become the most popular breed in the country. And for 20 years after that, they remained number one in popularity with Americans. Toy poodle dogs are generally a small dog breed. They have a compact and sturdy frame. The general size of the toy poodle dog is around 12 inches to 15 inches tall. Toy poodle dogs have a double coat that can be either wavy or curly. Their color can range from white to black with markings of tan, brown, or gray mixed in as well. Toy poodles have a broad head with a high set, both dark and light eyes along with erect ears that are either cropped or natural along with a dock tail, as well as an otter-shaped body. As a general rule, your toy poodle should be of a sturdy build with a well-proportioned body. They have dark, oval eyes, and the ears hang close to their heads. Toy poodles have long, straight muzzles and, of course, very distinctive coats. When it comes to diseases, though all poodles are the same breed, they can still come with their own set of conditions. Standard poodles are more at risk to bloat than toy poodles, but toy poodles can be susceptible to certain blood clotting disorders which include von Willebrand's disease and hemophilia. Toy poodles and other small dogs often face common problems such as luxating patellas and hip dysplasia. Poor dental health is also more likely among smaller breeds due to the size of their mouths. From the perspective of teeth health, small dogs are at greater risk than bigger dogs. What's more, they don't usually lose their milk teeth as easily as bigger dogs. When it comes to lifespan, a survey of toy poodle owners in the UK by the Kennel Club found that they lived to an average of 14 years and 8 months. The life expectancy for a dog is generally 15 years. Interestingly enough, small dogs live longer than large ones. 
and fortunately, the leading cause of death comes from natural aging. Toy poodles are known to be more nervous than their larger cousins, which means kids will need to be a few years older before they can be left unsupervised while around a toy poodle. Generally, though, they get along well with children and will delight in playing games with them. But you'll also need to take into consideration how likely it is that your dog is going to end up injured. Most children will weigh more than a toy poodle by their second birthday, but toddlers are still clumsy and fall over a lot, which is very unsafe. It's no surprise, then, that if they do fall on your dog, it might end up injured. If you have a young pup, you might need to expose them early to being around other dogs or pets at home, in classes or parks. This will help them get used to other people and animals, so they don't grow up too shy or aggressive. If your poodle is used to being the only pet, he may need some time and training to accept a newcomer. Grooming is an important part of having a poodle. Keep in mind that they have a particularly curly coat that's great for water activities but needs to be clipped on the regular. Although they are hypoallergenic and barely shed, their coat needs to be brushed regularly, typically every six to eight weeks depending on your preferences. Left untrimmed, the coat will naturally curl towards itself, forming cords. Some people want this for the corded braided look it gives off. It's important to look after the teeth of your poodle, especially if they're a toy or miniature poodle. Brush their teeth regularly with a pet toothpaste that's been vet approved and have regular dental checks. Trim nails as needed. Make sure not to wait too long. If they are so long that they are making a clicking sound, it is time to clip them again. If you train your dog well and patiently, it should be a rewarding experience for both of you to bond with your new dog. It is important for all toy breeds, like the toy poodle, to socialize and complete obedience training. Like all toy breeds, no matter how small they are, they need ample opportunity for socializing and obedience training during their puppyhood. They'll need this to show their confidence in any situation. Be mindful of what you teach your poodle. They learn quickly, so it is just as easy to teach him good habits as it is bad ones. If you are new to dog ownership, be sure to sign up for an obedience class with a skilled trainer. Many owners of small dogs skip training and end up with a badly behaved dog. Toy poodles are small yet very determined dogs. They love to have fun and can get bored easily, so you should provide many opportunities for daily exercise. At least an hour is necessary for them to remain healthy and happy. Poodles are known to be extremely intelligent and independent. They can form close bonds with families and love to play and show off with their family members. They also learn quickly and will get mad if they think they're being ignored or left out of your day-to-day -day actions. Toy poodles are great family pets. They are friendly, intelligent, love attention, and get along well with all sorts of people. They enjoy games and other forms of training, including obedience. While their size can make them unsuitable for some homes, they are generally able to get along well with children. Because of their high intelligence, poodles are quick to learn complex tasks like hide and seek. However, this intelligence also comes with downsides as they can also develop common anxiety behaviors like separation anxiety. These dogs can act up if you're not paying them enough attention. For example, they might do something you don't like in front of you just to get your attention. A good toy poodle who's been taught proper manners, has a calm disposition, is loyal and loving. The bottom line is, the toy poodle is a wonderful companion. They are perfect for individuals living in apartments or those that are generally allergic to dogs. They have a lot to offer potential owners and are a great addition to any home. So, do you want a toy poodle? What are they like? Please leave a comment below.